Hey crochet friends, welcome to Sugar Joy. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this lovely Maggie's window pane blanket throw and it's all double crochet. And it's got a cute little pico border. This blanket measures approximately six feet by five feet and you will need six skeins, seven just to be safe, of the Bernat plush yarn, as well as a 10 millimeter Susan Bates hook and some snips and a tape measure. My sister Tiffany of Daisy Farm Crafts has a hot pad pattern that is based off of a hot pad that our great grandmother Maggie made and the blanket pattern that I'm going to share with you today is based off of that hot pad pattern. Both patterns are available at daisyfarmcrafts.com, including a free downloadable PDF. And I will link that in the description box of this video. So this is the first sample that I worked up four by four square of um, double crochets separated by two chains. So for the blanket, you're actually going to be doing eight by eight. What you're gonna do, of course, is our chain. And for the sample, I'm just going to do 24. And so to work the first do double crochet, we want to work into the fourth chain from the hook. So this does not count the loop that we're in does not count as a chain this is the first so one two three four so we work into the fourth yarn over one two three four insert your hook pull through one yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two again it, the, this counts as your first double crochet. So one, two. So we've done two double crochets and each section is 10 double crochets. So this one, that was our work into the, to the fourth chain. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's our 10. And then we're going to do chain two, skip two, and then start our next section. And then at the end of these rows, you're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then we're gonna turn. And then we don't work the first space, we work the second space. So my strategy for not skipping stitches or adding stitches is to stop and count each row of 10 after I'm finished. And it seems to work pretty good. So when we get to the end of the fourth row, now it's time to do the, um, the middle row, which is one single crochet, chain two, skip two, one single crochet, chain two, skip two all the way across. We need to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Beginning, we're gonna work into the fourth chain space, which is one, two, three, four. So yarn over. Now, this is a little loose, so, you know, kind of gather it up, give it a little pinch, and then one, two, skip two, yarn over, Chain two, skip two. 
So at the end of this row, skip two, and then again, we're gonna work into that last turning chain there. There's a good spot, there we go. Yarn over, insert your hook, pinch, through two, yarn over through two again, and then we go back to chain three after you finish that row. So again, we skip the first, work into the second. So there you go. 10 to 10, then we go whatever across <laughs> and then 10 to 10 and you're all done. That's it. That's the whole pattern. Um, and so I will show you, I finish it with a, with a round of uh, single crochet and then another round of single crochet. And then I put little picots, which I'll show you how to do at these points. Okay. So to do the border on this, we just find a corner and I just do a slip stitch. I am just going to do single crochet. Borders can be much more freeform because you're dealing with, uh, with crocheting over this turning chain row, which isn't a consistent row of crochet. And so just trust your instincts of where you want to work the yarn and you know how it looks and it's easy enough to undo you know that's the that's the beautiful thing about crochet and when we get to the corner we're going to work three way now when we're on the um you know these rows where you can actually work into a stitch I do just work into every stitch so here's how we do our little picos is you go in and do a slip stitch, so not a single crochet, and then you chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then you come in and you go right back into the same space and do a slip stitch, which is slip, slip. There you go, and then you just go right to your next space and do your next single crochet. And this is what it looks like. It's just a cute little loop that gives it this very, I don't know, I just, I just like it. I might be using these picots on a lot of things. So let's talk a little bit about weaving in ends. This is the other, this is another needle. Okay, so I generally use this type of hook, but for this yarn, I did find that this works a little bit better. Either one is gonna be a little difficult. What I do, and it's such, it's thick and squishy, and so it's gonna, you know, uh, hold pretty well, is I try to go into the yarn, and then, oops. And, you know, it's not a huge amount of space to kind of bury it in there, but it does take some wiggling to get it through. So, you know, that's just the way it is. It takes me like a few minutes to get it through, but once it's through and it's in, it's in. Then after I get it through, I give it a good stretch into place and then I just clip right there. And then, you know, sometimes after I, you know, washed it or put it in the dryer or whatever a little piece will snip and i just have to do a you know go through and do another snip that's it hope you enjoyed this tutorial <gasps> okay so if you watched last week you know cindy and i talked all about our my vintage hot pad our from our great grandmother nicolina that's too and cindy decided to make it out of bernat Blush. Look at that. Thank I have you. to say, first of all, thank you so much for figuring out how to do that pattern. Yeah. I have felt like such an amazing connection to our heritage and to our Italian grandma. Oh, Cindy. So, there it is. Oh my gosh, it makes me want to cry. It makes me want to cry too. Can you wow. very classic, traditional 
crochet from a hot pad that was done a hundred years ago. So it's definitely classic crochet. We're not inventing anything new here. But what I think is so cool is um, I was thinking as you were telling me, as you were making it, you're imagining her, you're actually counting the same number of stitches that she would have been counting. Oh, just give me the chills.